Uh, we've had some references to TAs. Can you talk a little bit about the role TAs play here? Are they teaching your classes or do you have a faculty member who teaches your classes? Can you describe a little bit how, how a TA functions here? Um, so a TA or teaching assistant, um, it's usually a PhD student or an upper level undergraduate student um, who maybe teaches your discussion section if you're in a class that has a discussion section or it hosts or they host office hours. Um, and TAs are really an, an invaluable resource for you. Um, I found that they're really helpful in teaching you information that was already gone over in lecture, but maybe you didn't understand it perfectly because um, they were more recently a student and they kind of understand where you are. Um, and sometimes they're maybe a little bit more approachable. Um, yeah, so you can go visit a TA during office hours or in your discussion section. Okay. Are your discussion sections, uh, are they a small size, a medium size, large size? What, what size are those typically? Um, usually they're really small um, and you go over questions that um, are applicable to what you learned about in lecture. Um, so it's a really great way to reinforce the material taught during lecture. Um, you've all kind of referenced um, office hours. Could you explain a little bit about what those are? Yeah, so office hours are really going to be one of your best resources here um, for getting through your classes. They're held by TAs and professors. And they're just a time where you can go and talk to your professor or TA on a one-on-one -on -one basis or sometimes in a small group. And you can ask questions or go over homework. And they're also really great because there's generally people in your classes that also attend at the same time as you. So you can work together on homework and even make friends. Um, and I know as a freshman, I was intimidated to go to office hours, but they're really not scary. The professors are really nice. The TAs, they're basically just like you, um, and they're going to help so much. So I think just going that first time is going to be the hardest just to get over that hump of something new and, I don't know, unknown. But after that, and they're really a good resource. What kind of resources are available within the college besides you've talked about office hours and your kind of uh, 1050 advisors. What other resources are available to help students um, when you kind of maybe hit a, a bump in the road or have questions? So Cornell in general has these um, engineering extra help classes that are one credit um, pass fail called academic excellence workshops. So they have it in the sciences and the maths. So I took for multivariable calculus and intro to general chemistry, which are really helpful. They were two hours once a week and it's two upperclassmen, at least sophomore age, and they lead it and they interact with your professor so they know exactly what's going on and they help you and I found them really useful. And if you're not in that and then you get stuck for a prelim or something, there's a tutoring group where it's peers that help you um, learn. I used it for multivariable calculus and it really helped me prepare for one of my prelims, but they have it for, I think, CS, all the sciences, and it's, you'll get a few sessions free, which really helped. 